Shook. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So I was just sitting here shuffling like for Leo and I was like about to like start the reading and I just noticed that the camera wasn't on. So I'm glad that I noticed now before I got like halfway through the reading. Okay. Well, welcome back guys. And I'm ready to do your Leo reading. I just did Aries. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what the theme is for fire signs. I, you know, the theme for water signs. I just did that. Theme for water signs is that they are making some changes, cutting people out their life, bringing people in their life, okay? So they just starting to just have an awakening and understanding of what's what, and they're making some changes. So we're going to see exactly what's going on for the fire signs tonight, okay? Now, uh, Leo, your overall energy is letting go, okay? So this is releasing, walking away, moving on, all right? So there's something overall that you are just releasing your energy from. So it's like maybe you just have no more to give, okay? In the recent past, you get exhaustion. I was just saying that you had no more to give. It was a long journey, depletion, fatigue. Something was truly draining. Something was truly draining. I don't know if it was a job situation, if it was a friend, if it was um, a family member, if it was a partner. Um, but something in the recent past was truly draining on your energy and it got you to the, you know, the point where now your overall is like, I'm letting go. Okay. Your current energy is giving vows. Okay. So this is commitment, promises, and fidelity. This may be somebody that you were committed to. Okay. That you are releasing or letting go or that you were exhausted by. Okay. So, um, Maybe you thought things were going to go one way and it just did not, okay? In the immediate future, you get longing. So, um, aching, pinning, past love. Maybe you're longing for someone else. Um, maybe it's not the same person that you um, are letting go, but we can definitely see or what this is in the longing. But you are longing for past love or aching for something or someone, all right, and then your advice from spirit is clarity, okay? That's honesty, intention, and truth. So maybe you gain clarity or you need to, all right? So let's clarify your reading, Leo, for the second half of April. For Leo, for the second half of April. Clarify letting go for Leo as the overall energy. Clarify letting go for Leo as the overall energy. Okay. Okay, you get the two of pentacles, the three of wands, and a nine of swords. You were definitely frustrated about something. You were waiting for your ships to come in. You wanted change to happen in some situation. Um, and it just seemed like it just was not, okay? With the two of pentacles, you're juggling, you're trying to figure it out, you're trying to come up with, make a decision on something, like whether I should stay or whether I should go. Whether I should stay or whether I should go. Because with the three of wands, you were waiting for change to happen. That is waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for development, waiting for things to move forward, to progress, okay? And it was causing you to have some anxiety, all right? You, were, you had anxiety, this is something that was keeping you up at night. It's something that was completely frustrating for you. Okay? Completely exhausting in your past energy. It was a union. The two of cups. As soon as I picked it up, it came out. All right? It was completely exhausting. Clarify exhaustion in the recent past. Okay? You get the five of pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles. So you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign with all of these pentacles. All right. But this is you um, in a union with someone with the Two of Cups here. And feeling like they don't care about you. That you are not important to them. You don't matter to them. Um, like you're, they, they don't value you. you feel, you're feeling left out in the cold. By this knight of pentacles. So the knight of pentacles is someone that is strong. Someone that is confident. Someone that is serious. 
and maybe you thought that this was going to be real and they left you feeling that out in the cold left out in the cold it was exhausting being in this with this knight of pentacles okay let's clarify vows in the current energy for leo you get the high priestess Clarify vows. You get hangman and you get the page of swords. Okay. So in your current energy, you had you started to use your intuition. You started to get in some, you know, with the hangman energy, they're getting enlightened about something and awakening. Okay. And with the page of swords, you're gaining clarity. You're, an, you're so open right now. Your brain is so open in this current energy. You know exactly what this is. You know exactly how you should move. You are following your intuition on this. You are in the energy of letting go, okay? You're following your intuition on this, and you're like, this is just what it is, okay? You might feel a little steady, like trying to figure out exactly what to do, how to move in this situation, but you have so much more understanding of this right now in your current energy. You probably aren't saying much. You might be keeping your next move to yourself with that high priestess energy. But you have a total different understanding now. Clarify longing. You have the three of pentacles. Longing. Six of Cups, okay, and the Magician, all right, so, you're longing, and I definitely feel like you're longing for this person, now, yeah. now, it says past love on the longing card, okay, and then we do have the Six of Cups here, which is memories, okay, or reminiscing, it is also like reuniting with someone from your past, okay? Or someone from your past coming back into your life. Um, but I think this is the same person. And I feel like you're trying to manifest them back into your life. You're trying to go back on, you know, you're longing for them. You miss them. Um, you see what they mean to you you they see what you mean to them the longing is here and you want to work together you want to rebuild with the three of pentacles you want to collaborate you want to come together and rebuild okay you want to manifest a new beginning with them because you're longing for them now the advice from spirit is that you gain clarity on something <clears throat> Let's see what this is. The advice from spirit. Change is happening. You get the six of swords. <laughs> and the six of wands. This card was the emperor. Okay, so you get the six of swords, the emperor, and the six of wands. So you gain clarity on um this person all right you gain clarity and you want to move back towards this person with the six of swords normally that energy is moving away going from rough waters to calmer waters um and that's ultimately what you want to do you don't want to be in um feeling exhausted with this person with the feet to you know the exhausted car you don't want to feel like you sh should let them go okay or let this go this connection all right you want to come back towards that emperor all right and you want it to be successful i think you're gaining clarity that that's something that you want to do all right so let's get you a romance angel stock card on the bottom let's get you a romance angel It says true love. It says this is a romance of a lifetime. Okay. 
for Leo. Oh, this one was out. Children. It says your love life is being affected by children. Okay? Maybe you guys have children together. Right? But this is something that you are starting to gain clarity on. You see what this is and you want to go back towards it. All right, you see what this is. You're longing for this person. You're longing for this connection. You have clarity on, you know, exactly like what this is. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this helped. And that's what's going on for you in the second half of April. That's what it is. Let's get you a fun car from um, the Rebel Deck. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I just got this deck in today, so I'm just playing around with it. Give you a fun card from the Rebel deck. Any messages for Leo from the Rebel deck? Messages for Leo from the Rebel deck. Oh, two. Yeah. So this says rebel, and it was like, why? I say because, fuck it, whatever. But this card says. Um, don't talk to anyone and don't look at anyone. And then on the back it says, you need time to yourself or you need fucking time alone and you know why. <laughs> you probably do need to go with this, okay? Your current energy, that's what it is with the hangman and the high priest is you're going within, okay? Gaining some clarity, the page of swords and coming back, you know, with a new perspective, okay? Your love life is being affected by your children. It's true love here. Okay? Alright. But that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this helped. And you guys have a great week. Um, take care of each other. Take care of yourself. And I miss you guys already. Bye-bye.